a while back, I posted a picture of my kids and I playing a game of cards with these easy card holders. Since they've worked out so great for our family, I went back to the same store and I bought two more. I ended up having eight in total. Two of them I currently cannot find because my kids have them somewhere, but one of them is red and I don't remember what the other color is. But I do have a few of these that are really cute colors. I have a couple of neutrals. I have this one is my absolute favorite, this kind of vintage look, and then some of these more solid colors. Oh, this one's kind of marbled as well. I've had several of you ask me how to use these or have interest in them, and so I thought I would show you guys. So you just, it is spring-loaded, and you just slide the cards in, and it just holds it on its own. So let me put some cards in here. I'm doing Uno again. So you just do it like this. And my kids were losing at Uno so bad they actually have it fanned all the way around. They even stand a little bit on their own. So if you didn't want to hold it, you could. So my kids, um, I usually tell them to hold it by the middles and they do just fine. If you hold it by here, you could open it up and do all the cards. But as long as you hold it steady, you're fine. These are vintage, as you could probably tell by this one specifically, and just the colors in general. But uh, I did look on um, some other websites to see if I could find one for you. And so here is the picture of the newer version. And I have put that information in my bio if you would like to take a look at it. The list is called Thrift Inspirations. One other thing that I've gotten in relation to these um, that someone had asked about was this little tray. It might be confusing right off the bat on what it is, but if you watched me purchase it, you will know that I tested it out with cards on what I thought it was. And it is in fact a card tray. So you have your draw and drop pile. So for games like Uno, uh, Crazy Eights, that kind of thing, you have your two piles. And as long as they're not too tall, it doesn't matter if your kids hit it or you know anything like that you have your two piles so this has also been great for us so between the two it makes it super simple for little hands to kind of manage that don't have as much um, control I got these at the thrift store um, I don't even know ended up being like 25 cents a piece and then I got these at the thrift store for a dollar each I got two of them this one and a green one and I looked again for a comparable um, card holder I guess and so I'm going to show that here and this one again is also linked in my storefront under thrift inspirations and they are mostly acrylic now from what I could find and so this one I do believe based on the marbling and made in the USA is also vintage but um, you might be able to find something on eBay or something so those are some of our vintage game pieces thanks for stopping by guys